what's up guys this is Ian 559 Fresno and in this video I'm going to teach you how to fix the searching or no service problem that occurs on the iPhone 3GS which was previously unlocked on the iPad baseband also known as baseband 6.15.00 uh, it was probably working fine you updated to iOS 5 through iTunes and as soon as your device powered on it says searching and the weird thing about it is even if you pull out your SIM tray it'll still say searching but don't worry it's very easy to fix and we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do that right now you need to download two files one is the 5.0 firmware file for your device and red snow 0 0.9.9 .9 beta 4 links are in the description alright so once you have those downloaded just have your device plugged in and powered on and just set it aside. We're gonna go extract Red Snow to your desktop and then just open up the folder, find where it says Red Snow, right click on it if you're using Windows 7, this is only optional for Windows 7, right click hit properties, go to compatibility, then go right here where it says change settings for all users, click run this program in compatibility mode 4, Windows XP Service Pack 2, go down to privilege level and check mark run this program as an administrator then just hit OK hit OK again and you're ready to open Red Snow just right click on it run as an administrator hit yes and you can go to extras right here go to select IPSW go right here and find the firmware file 5.0 it's going to tell you that it has been identified, just hit OK. It's going to ask you if you have a new boot ROM or old boot ROM 3GS. If you have an iPhone 3GS that looks like this, where it just says iPhone on the back, hit yes. If you're not sure, you can try and it won't work. It'll just like freeze on you or something. But um, if you know, the way to figure it out is take out the SIM tray. And hold on one second. on the top right here see this thing is on the bottom right here on this side the top it'll say serial number I need to identify it with the fourth and fifth digit so let's see mine is I'm gonna hit yes alright so I'm gonna go back after that and then hit jailbreak You can power off your phone right now. It, it, it'll save some time. Just power it off right now. Alright, so you can see these options right here. You need to check mark install Cydia, install iPad Baseband, and then hit yes, and check mark deactivate. And you're going to hit next. Now wait for your device to power off. You need to power it off right now. So mine's off now, and what we're going to do is enter DFU mode. You don't have to hit next, but if you do, it's going to show you the instructions, or you can just follow me right now. Um, what you need to do is, I'm going to give you a heads up. Hold the power button until the Apple logo shows up. As soon as you see that Apple logo, you're going to hold both the home and the power button. So both buttons. Hold it until it powers off, then wait five more seconds. And then after you wait five seconds from the point it turns off again, you're going to release the power button, but continue holding the home button. So watch. It turned on, so hold both the home and the power. It's going to turn off right now. Wait about five more seconds. All right, so that's good. Now release the power button, continue holding the home button. And you're going to hear a beep, and then it'll change. Now you're going to wait for it to fetch the iPad baseband files. So just be a little patient. Shouldn't take too long, but uh, who knows, maybe the servers are jammed at some times. So just try to be a little patient. Okay, it's going to exploit with Lime Rain, and your phone is going to probably power off.
Alright, it's going to be downloading jailbreak data right now. So just let's set it aside. Uh, I'm not going to edit out any part of this video because I just want to show you guys that I'm not like faking any of my videos. This is real. And I just want to make it as easy as possible for you guys to follow. So you're just going to wait from right now on. Here, I'll move it up. You guys just don't touch your phone. You don't want to mess it up. Alright, it's going to say done. So you can just hit exit. And you're going to look right here. It's going to be giving you like all these options. My camera's not that good right now, but uh, pay attention to it. And if it says uh, like error 60,000 MS, uh, just go into my channel and I have a video on fixing that. So don't worry about that if that happens. But right now, if not, you don't get that error, then just wait. It's going to run right now and fix your phone. All right, so you're going to wait for this. This process is going to take uh, a little longer than normal for me it did on my last phone I fixed so it's gonna this don't worry if it hasn't frozen it's working it's just a little slow and you can get ready to use your phone again uh, after this tutorial please don't exit it right now because you're gonna miss out on another vital step because uh, after we finish this, you just need to do one more thing so it works. I'll explain in about a couple minutes. Okay, so it's going to move the applications. Don't worry, it hasn't frozen. I think it took me like four minutes last time I did this, so don't worry. Apologize about all these cracks right here. Uh, I had to like dig up in my room trying to find a 3GS to use. Just make sure you don't unplug your iPhone. That's a mistake if you do. You don't want it to die out right now. Okay, so see it's installing the bundles now. So see, I told you guys it's not frozen. The next step, it's very vital. Like, make sure you don't lose power. So check if you're using a laptop, have it plugged in. You don't want it to get interrupted right now where it says flashing basement. So don't interrupt this process. Okay, so as you can tell, it's almost done. The rest, it's pretty fast. So let's just wait it out. And like I said, please don't exit the video because there's going to be one more step after this.
Alright, so this baseband part, it takes a while. I guess I'll explain. Uh, baseband, what it is, it's like the software. I guess you could think about it as software for the phone's antenna. I guess you could think about it that way. And so, as you noticed, like your baseband was pretty much corrupted uh, when this happened because it said searching, even if there wasn't a SIM card in it. So, the, this is kind of why it was happening. Uh, all of the steps that we did, the install Cydia, deactivate, and install iPad Baseband, they were all needed to fix this. I'll show you why right when it finishes. Alright, so it looks like it finished, finally. So, it's going to be pretty much done right now, and we're just going just gonna to do one more thing. So, Starting up, I'm going to go put my SIM card in the phone. So that's good, see? No SIM. That's what we wanted to see. If you have T-Mobile, you're going to see one bar of service, so just stay tuned right now if you have at t Put the SIM card in. No service, and it's going to pop up right now. What you need to do is slide. Hit English. Hit Next. You know, the country you're in. Disable Location Services. Make sure. You can turn it on later, I think. I'm not sure, but just for right now, disable it. Find your Wi-Fi network or whatever it is, and enter the password. Alright, it's going to try to activate it, or if you don't have Wi-Fi, what you do is just unplug it and plug it back in. And you can see this right here. Set up as new iPhone or restore from iCloud. For right now, I'm just going to set it up as new. I'm going to skip this step. Hit, uh, it says you must have an Apple ID. I'm just going to hit skip, or yeah, skip. And it's going to load up right now. Hit agree. Hit agree again. Uh, I'm going to hit don't send. And you can start using your iPhone now. You're at the home screen. So now your iPhone is fixed. If you have T-Mobile, it'll say no service or one bar or something like that. So I'll show you how to fix that. You will notice right now that when you hit Safari, it's going to exit out by itself. Same thing if you hit uh, Cydia. So if that's happening, what you're going to need to do is watch this next video of mine by clicking right here. If you're on T-Mobile and you have one bar of service, click here. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos, feel free to contact me, private message comments, whatever. Uh, and if you could click the like button, that'd mean a lot to me. Thank you. And there goes my service.